Welcome back to Let's Play Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Last episode, we started a game, ended up on the deserted island, eliminated a conspirator, and saved the merchant. So right now, we are about to head to Havana. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. But before we do, why don't we oh, do oh, some goody collecting? Because apparently there's treasure nearby. Good day, hunter. Treasure maps. Find treasure maps on explorers' cavaliers. They will lead you to a specific place on the island. Dig there and you might find money. Or plans to upgrade. That's... that's interesting. Alright. I think the numbers on the lower right corner are the corners to the trigger. Let's check that out. Trigger maps. 179593 Oh, it's right over here. Should be right over there. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking the wrong way. Let's check the treasure map once again. Should be right over here somewhere.
should be straight ahead towards this area somewhere. If I remember correctly because I already beat this game once and I would like to do a playthrough on this. Hello. I'm pretty sure there'll be a prompt somewhere. Wait a second, I think I figured out where it is. Some sort of cave. Looks like some sort of cave that's leading there. What did I get? Alright, now that we've found the treasure, let's head towards our destination for the time being. Take the wheel. Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to fold, shall we? Cool, we get to privateer our own ship. Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of... Of possibility. 
That's a top way of seeing it, mate. Don't crash. Don't crash into anything. by the idea of pirates roaming these waters. So Is it a real danger, do you suppose? A possibility. But most pirates stalk the windward passage between Cuba and Hispaniola. Oh, I see. Yes. That is a bustling strait. But I shouldn't worry I about just being like waylaid by pirates, truth be told. Take my sweetest time more, about and them. And I have nothing of immense value. Sugarcane and its yields. Molasses. Rum, that sort of thing. Yeah, be There's careful not a pirate living who turned his back on a keg of rum. There. Well, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. So yeah, you can upgrade the ship, your ship that you acquired as you as the story progresses. Oh crap! Get them aloft! Douse all sail! Think I just went the wrong way. Or not. Close down, catch some wind. We'll see where things take us. Looks like it's clear up ahead. Three hundred meters left to go. Smooth sailing from here on out. We're almost there. Cutscene time. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Title screen. Fantastic work. Very promising. Heroes aren't born. I got a trophy for this. All right. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we didn't break your brain, all right? 
I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. Huh, so this was a so, simulation. Welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're going to need this. There you go. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right. Let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Impressive, right? I this it building this is real barely world. six months old, and but Abstergo Entertainment yes, has been a studio for a few years since 2010. The real world and the past world. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. It'll just take a minute, okay? Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon, c'était prêt. Magnifique. Merci. Ah, they're speaking French. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. You can toggle on and off like this. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Second floor. That's easy. Cool, I can control things with my remote control. I can tr control the elevator with my Let's go. remote control. That's so awesome. Ah, there's the boss, Olivier Garneau, our CCO. I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hey then, Connor. Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Mélanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled, and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing. Calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are. Your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours. So sit back, relax, There's one thing that I don't footage. get when I play this. If you need this. any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial the real programs world so you'll have no problems. And I'll check angle. in on you later. Happy pirating. Well, whatever. Return to your animus. But, let's do some exploring. Employee passport.
mission? Well, whatever. Let's continue. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693. Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. Friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am. Bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. It'd be a great relief to have a man of your stature nearby in case of a false misunderstanding. I can hang about. I might have a drink. Finish <laughs> drink. <laughs> but they don't take kindly to pirates here, do they? Wonder how many stolen reals bought these men this perch. Ladies, you don't know these women, do you? No, they charge money for that kind of privilege. A few dozen reals for every hour of knowing. Keen to meet them? No, goodness, no. I'm a, I'm a married man. A married man of their forte, mate. So, right now, we are following this guy. Aha. Here's a purveyor of personal defenses. <laughs> I should acquire a blade for myself, Duncan, just as you have. This rusty razor's nothing to admire. Even so, I appear a mere kitten walking so close upon you. Perhaps a small dagger would suit me. Let's see what he's selling. Maybe I'll buy a sword too. We'll both jump rank. Oh, we'll be quite the pair, you and I. Twin devils. <laughs> Lend us a few reals then. I did save your skin. Ah, uh, of course. Cheers. Hmm, buy a pair of swords. Let's see what this merchant has. British cutlasses. Well, the only thing on... It's the only thing available at this time. That's a better fit for me. How do you fare? I had only enough for a small knife, sadly. Still, it'll do in a pinch. Oh, puffer duff. I have led us astray, Duncan. 
Oh, no matter. I'll get us a better view. What are we looking for? Uh, a tavern. A sort of courtyard interior. Reach the top of the church. That's easy. That's easy. Every finger's a fish hook. That's how you tell a true sailor. <laughs> yes, a fine way to put it. Whew. So apparently I'm chasing someone. I'm close at heel, shitbird. Oh, come on. Here I come. Are. Don't make me chase you into the harbor! Looks like I'm gaming. You robbed the wrong man, mate. A fellow with dangerous friends. Serves you right. Goodbye. That filter is no fuss.
time, I'll be just here. Fancy meeting a Welshman deep in Dago country. I'm English myself. Biding my time till the next war calls me to service. Lucky King George. I'm in a piss pot like you flying his flag. Oh! Oi! Skulk! I've seen your face before. Use mates with them pirates down in Nassau. Shut your fucking gob or I'll fill it with shots, you hear me? <laughs> Edward, is it? Ooh, a fight. <laughs> Okay, let's dance. You want a dust up? I'll give you one. Come on, lads. I've seen bigger arms on a bird. Yeah. 